There is never a more appropriate time to do some fortune telling in the cryptoverse than the year-end holiday season. As this more than eventful 2020 is coming to an end, many are curious what the next year has in store for us. And though we can't know for sure, industry insiders can certainly make some educated guesses based on what happened so far. As last year, the team at cryptocurrency venture fund Token Daily Capital asked some builders and investors in the space about what they think is in for crypto in 2021. So once again, let's see if there is a pattern to all the forecasts. What sort of issues keep cropping up? And are there any real surprises lurking in these super cyber soothsaying sessions? Bitcoin breaking the walls, Pantera Capital's Joey Crook sees US$100,000 per Bitcoin BTC, next year, as well as US$2,000 per Ethereum ETH. Coinshares Meltem Demurrers also sees BTC going that high, saying the coin will become, globally championed as the antidote to dysfunction, with Matt Huang from Paradigm adding that, Bitcoin becomes consensus. Furthermore, Lolly's Alex Adelman thinks several publicly traded companies, including Tesla, will add BTC to their balance sheet, and Three Arrows Capital's Shuzu said several central banks will announce substantial stakes in BTC, while several large public companies will issue BTC-related capital structure instruments. Lightning Network Layer 2 Solutions Many participants see Lightning Network and Layer 2 solutions, these are built on top of the base protocol, increasing adoption. Casas Stacy Waleko said that, any kind of bull run is going to force activity onto Layer 2 for wins in scalability and lower fees, while those that have integrated Lightning, are going to reap big rewards. And while Casey Caruso from Bessemer Venture Partners thinks, many Layer 1s will die, Alexander Angel from Primitive says, there will be a Layer 1 protocol with a fully diluted market cap of USD 100B. Unavoidable regulation. Colleen Sullivan from CMT Digital says 2021 will be the year of the regulator. Matthew Walsh from Castle Island Ventures thinks clarity from the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, will unlock even greater levels of institutional participation, and DCG's Larry Sukunik thinks we'll see more projects self-reporting financials. Meanwhile Square Crypto's Matt Corallo says Western countries will continue their multilateral regulatory attacks on free movement of crypto, especially as it relates to coins moving into or out of exchanges. Also, while Kinjal Shah from Blockchain Capital says we'll see another announcement of a fiat-backed stablecoin from a tech player after Libra Diem's launch, Imran Khan from Volt Capital sees two worlds emerging in DeFi the semi-regulated and slow-to-adopt, US First World, and the untethered, Asia First World.